Hi guys, my name is Sabrina. Welcome back to the channel. Today we get in personal. So lately the content I've been posting on my channel, I've realized seems really like superficial. I don't really talk about me personally. I don't really let my personality shine through other than like oh, the weird and fun and quirky part. I felt like trying to get more personal and trying to maybe voice my problems or my opinions out onto my channel because that's kind of the purpose of having you know social media or a youtube channel is to just let all your shit out um so i'm gonna start a new segment on my channel called sleep overnight where i don't have to wear makeup i can just show up in my pajamas and we can have some sleepover talks the concept of sleep overnight is to start a discussion just for me to get my feelings out it's like you know if we were all in a sleepover and i'm just talking about my personal problems i was going to call this girls night but i don't want to exclude any non-binary people or any boys who do watch my channel so because <laughs> This topic isn't specific to just girls. Here's a my pajama for the night. It's a honey rainbow sweatshirt from Stephanie Sue's merch. Today's topic is body dysmorphia and beauty standards. This is probably gonna be all over the place because I don't plan on writing a script for these. Um, usually when I do have a more serious video, I do have a script written out. I have struggled with body dysmorphia for like my entire life probably. That's not a surprise. I mean, I'm pretty sure a majority of the population experiences it because of the pressures that beauty standards put on us. I see photos of myself from middle school and high school where I thought to myself like, oh my God, I'm so fat in this very moment and I hate the way my body looks. But then now, five years later, four years later, whatever, I look back and I'm just like, that was probably the skinniest I've ever been. I never feel good about myself in the moment. And it's really sad that I didn't spend more time enjoying what I looked like and enjoying my life because <laughs> I feel like as I get older, it just kind of gets worse. Since quarantine has started, my body dysmorphia has actually gotten like really, really bad. Usually like literally ever since I started college, I haven't been worrying about it as much because I'm just like, you know what? Whatever, I love my body. I look fabulous, I look great. And I was healing from my times in high school and middle school where I literally, I guess I sort of struggled with eating disorders. Like I would, I wouldn't eat and I wouldn't drink water throughout the day and that's terrible for your body. So please drink and eat water, drink water and eat every single day. But I was healing and then quarantine hit and because I don't go outside anymore and like go walk around or like I'm not on my college campus and I'm not walking from class to class. I don't have like what 20 to 30 minutes of exercise each day anymore and now I'm just like sitting at my desk studying for school, attending lectures, or I'm playing Animal Crossing in my bed. I'm I'm stationary, I'm not doing anything, and because I'm at home, I have more access to food, I've been eating a lot more, and I have been gaining some weight. Like, I haven't had time to exercise, especially at the end of the semester, it usually just gets like this, where I don't have time to invest for myself, and that's why I haven't also been posting a lot of videos. Uh. I just had a really, really, really bad couple of days a while ago, like maybe two weeks ago, where I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, oh my god, I'm so fat, I'm so ugly, how could anyone love me? I just like broke down crying, I literally cried myself to sleep for a few nights. And then those kinds of nights would be followed by days of me looking in the mirror and being like, oh my god, I'm the skinniest I've ever been, why was I sad about that? But that was caused by my body dysmorphia also making me decide not to eat and skip meals every single day after that day. Even right now, I am acknowledging this as a person for myself to heal. I had a bad night last week. I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go into my fitness app on my phone. I'm going to record all of my calories. I don't have time to exercise right now, but after finals, I will. Um, and so I started skipping lunch. I only had like two pieces of bread to eat for breakfast and I would starve myself and drink tons and tons of water until dinner um, where I would just binge eat. The sad part is that it worked and that I lost two pounds within the last few days, but that's not healthy. 
and no one should put themselves through that. And I think the reason that I started feeling so bad about my body was because I don't have to go anywhere, I can't go anywhere, so I've been spending a lot of time on TikTok. All of these beautiful people who are so skinny have the tiniest waist and have an hourglass figure and I have pudge all around my stomach and I look like a brick and it just made me feel terrible about myself. So every time ever since then that I've opened up TikTok, eventually it would get to a point where like I see too many perfect bodies that it makes me feel so bad about myself and I have to force myself to stop going through TikTok. I don't know if this is a rumor, but I'm pretty sure TikTok has an algorithm or like moderators that promote pretty and skinny people more than other people who have other body types or who aren't conventionally pretty. I feel like I live my life every single year telling myself, okay, this is the year I'm going to get my body together because ever since I was in second grade, I haven't been like conventionally skinny. I'm gonna say it right now, I am five feet tall and I weigh about 119 pounds on a, like a heavy day and like on a good good light day I weigh about 116 pounds and hearing that it's not heavy like I'm not heavy and I don't appear big at all I'm not obese at all and every time I complain about my body dysmorphia people are like oh well you're just so skinny anyway it's okay I wish I could be your weight and it's like well yeah I on days on some days I do think that I'm skinny and I know I'm not like morbidly obese, like I'm fine. My health is fine. I mean, I could exercise more, I could get my fitness up, but like it's still something that I struggle with. And people saying like, oh, you're, you're skinny though. Like, you're skinny though, like you should be happy about your body. It doesn't really help. And I want to say that I am not fat shaming anyone. I'm talking about my personal feelings. And if you are heavier than what beauty standards are telling you, that is okay, and you are beautiful the way that you are. It's just that, personally for me, the beauty standards I have been f fed my entire life has forced me to believe that skinny people are pretty, and that I am not pretty because I am not skinny, and that's terrible. It's an awful way to live, living your life every single day, thinking that you are ugly just because of your weight, thinking that you are not deserving of love just because of your weight. If you weigh more, that's fine, and you are so beautiful. Your weight does not define you. It's not uh, an indicator of like bad health sometimes. Sometimes, it's just your genetics. Lizzo probably has more fitness than um, I do because she can play the flute and sing and dance all at the same time and she does so many tours and concerts. She's always on the move. While I'm here, I just sit down. I've, I can't even run a mile. I'm not healthy at all, especially in the way that I eat by starving myself or binge eating just i eat so much fast food i eat just so much junk food i barely eat vegetables so by me saying that i feel terrible about my weight is not me fat shaming i hope that i hope i make that clear and i hope that doesn't come off as offensive it's just really sad that so many people fat shame people other people and that leads to other people having body dysmorphia and having image issues their entire life. I look so orange. What is going on, bro? I had to change the lighting because it got dark. The sun just set. I want to make it very, very clear. Very, 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 very clear. I don't want to bring anyone down. I am not fat shaming anyone at all. I think that it is beauty standards that we are fed our entire lives that makes it hard for us to accept our bodies no matter how much you weigh. Especially TikTok, it's a media platform filled with a ton of teenagers who are still very, very impressionable. Like, I literally saw a 12 year old on there the other day. I found out that my nine year old sister and her friends and my younger younger cousins who are around her age have tiktok accounts and that is so detrimental to their self-image because all i see on my for you page like at least 90 percent of the time are skinny and conventionally pretty people if there's a skinny person 
flaunting their shit on their videos the person in the comments is like i guess i won't eat today like girl no 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 it is so sad that that is happening to other people and i find it so ironic that i encourage other people to like you know eat and love their bodies and cherish their bodies for what they are but i can't seem to do it myself <laughs> it's so contradicting and i wish it weren't that way but i don't know i just can't for some reason convince my mind to like love my body for me also especially like i'm asian so a lot of asians i know are extremely thin and skinny and i guess like being around that body type all the time is just making me it makes me feel out of place and like separate from them like i don't belong with them i'm not very eloquent with my words so there's a very small chance that i even made like a, a final message or motivational inspirational thing but i hope that one part of this video came out to you and you could relate and just know that you're not alone and that i also struggle with these problems too and that you're not the only one just know that your body is beautiful the first step is recognizing the problem and trying to work on yourself to heal yourself i know for sure i am trying to take steps to make sure i drink a lot of water i eat and get my nutrition eat lots of vegetables and fruits i've been doing that um a lot more recently now so please eat don't skip your meals, <laughs> try to eat as healthy as you can, but if you don't, that's okay, you know? Sometimes we all just want a donut, sometimes we all just want to eat some Cheetos, and that's perfectly fine. Don't worry about the calories, worry about nourishing your soul. Maybe get some exercise, just go for a walk. So yeah, like in the comments, leave what kind of pajamas you're wearing, I guess. And I hope you all have a good week <laughs> don't forget to follow me on instagram at sab.grey and twitter at sabgdrey <laughs> don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye